Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to enable cheat codes on DuckStation, the PlayStation 1 emulator. Open up DuckStation, and then select a game, and I usually just load a state, and what you want to do on newer versions of DuckStation is click on System, Cheats, Cheat Manager, and you get all these built-in cheats to most PS1 ISOs or bin files. And let's test out on Brave Fencer Musashi, the greatest PS1 game ever, the Moon Jump. And you click it, and I tend to minimize it so I can see. And look, he's praising the Lord. And this is kind of like having the sky scroll in the game, except you can go way, way higher. He's praising the Lord. And you can see most of uh, the things and levels and maps that you're not meant to see, such as spawn points sometimes. And they're just standing there because we haven't triggered the uh, geometry yet. And then there, when you get low enough, and it starts to glitch on some parts of it. We can see the leaves and such. Cutscene's supposed to play. So that's how you enable cheat codes for Brave Fencer Musashi. But let's try other games. Pick another game, which would be Spyro the Dragon. Now some cheat codes for this are all of these for each level, each world, all gems, all dragons. Infinite lives, infinite health. There is a glide to fly. And this one is not the same as one that I found years ago when I used EPSXE. This one will um, freeze when you load into levels because you can't disable this one just by clicking on it in the cheat menu. There's one where you have to hit L1, R1, and triangle to disable it so you can fly through levels. This one you cannot disable it, but you can get pretty high for a white guy in um, levels. And the one that I used let me fly all the way straight up like a jihad and all the way straight down like a Shiite. But you can see things in levels that you weren't meant to see. And it makes Spyro a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fun. But I'm going to show you things that you weren't meant to see, such as little floating things because they're not able to be rendered when you get up close to them, but farther away they start to render in. See little gems where they're placed, which is really cool. And you can even see the back of the dragon's head and the statue. I'm going to give you an example of how it freezes when you enter a level with this cheat enabled. Well, never mind. No, I'm not. <laughs> There's a well in the portal. And then we're going to load up another game. Everyone's favorite game. Don't know why there are two of them. Batman and Robin. This one has a creepy yet cool cheat code that, again, can't be disabled for some reason, even though it's unchecked here. It is... First-person view. You want to be Batman? And you want to see Gotham from Batman's perspective? Enable first-person view complete with camera shake. Realistic camera shake. And this is how it looks like when you beat him up. I picked up a clue. 
and this guy is SOL. Sorry, bub. Not really. And that is how you enable cheat codes in Duck Station, the PlayStation 1 emulator on PC.